you through every single level sure you want some of the tougher spots to level on each of the robots to defeat to get to the end boss dr wiley and we will start with mega man when you push start the game starts now you can tell we got cut man guts man ice man bomb man fireman and elect man and you can select which guy you want to start at we will start at cut man because he is the easiest We start off by climbing up the ladder and shooting the helicopters. What you want to do is stand in one place and shoot, and they will come after you. But then you'll be in the exact place, and you'll hit them right when they come up at you. Now these things, wait till they open their mouths and then shoot them. They might leave you valuable items, such as an extra guy or the little colored balls, which give you extra points at the end of the game. Those Pac-Man type things, don't even worry about those, just walk right under them and you'll miss them. And then you got the spring things, don't even worry about those, the guys are easy. For these ones, try to shoot them when they're down in the ground, but before you jump up there, make sure you get this one because it'll jump after you. For this guy, he splits in all different directions. Either dodge him or shoot him. Either way, you might get hit. Now this guy guards almost every of the end bosses, and he's tough. Try to maneuver the best you can. If you don't get him, don't worry. He just knocks 10 million thousand lights out of you. Once you go through this gate, you're almost at the leader of this level. When these guys come up, shoot them immediately to get rid of them. You don't want to lose more energy than you already have, if you've lost any at all. And now we go to the leader of the stage, which is Cut Man. For Cut Man, what you want to do is hit him once and try to dodge out of the way, and then he'll shoot one of his scissors at you. Just follow this procedure. Hit him once, dodge, and then he'll jump over you. Hopefully he'll keep doing this enough so you can get him. Now collect the crystal, and you will go on to pick another stage. Next, we will go to Bomb Man, because you don't really need a weapon for him, and he's another easy enemy. And here we start off with the springboards again, once again, except they're red now. They're just as simple as before. Now, for this procedure, kind of calculate where they hit. They always hit at the exact same spot, so let the one hit and then jump over the next one before the next one can get to you. Now this green guy is a little bit tough. What you have to do is kind of calculate when he's going to attack and when he's not. It's the best idea you can have. But if you try to hit him when his sword is there, he won't, his shield, excuse me, he won't attack until he puts his sword back. You want to get that extra life shoot him when he jumps in the air and then collect the extra life now you go through the gate the best thing to do here is to get hit once then when you go to the next floor you will not get hit again and now we go to the leader of this stage bomb man what you want to do is use your regular weapon he will try to jump over you hit him once as so, and then he will throw a bomb. He will throw three at a time. Try to dodge the bomb. Even three at a time, it depends how close you get. Try to dodge the bombs and his jumpings at you as many times as you can until he's gone. And collect the crystal. Now we 
to go? The next stage you should go to is Guts Man, because you can use Bomb Man's bombs. Because every time you defeat an enemy, you receive their weapon. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you that. And so they're useful against some of the enemies. That's why we go to this one. Now this is tricky. Jump onto this platform here. Jump onto the next one. Every time it hits that little crevice, it's going to come down. So make sure you jump when it comes down, as so. Do that three times, then jump onto the next one. And when you get to the edge, jump across. It might take a lot of time at first, but you'll get used to it. And those pesky helicopters will come after you again. At that time, I forgot what it was. Now, this guy is easy. See the pattern? Well, except for the one on there, but this is what you do. Hit him once and keep walking toward him, and you throw his axes the other way. Of course, I got hit there, but who cares? And now you go through the gate once again. Just walk and keep shooting. That's all you want to do here, because you'll hit them before they try to attack you. As you can see. Now go through the gate, and you're the leader of the stage, which is Gutsman. If you use Bomb Man's bombs, it only takes three hits. But be careful, he stamps on the floor and throws a brick at you. Try to jump over the brick. But you have to have good timing if you want to... Because every time he banks on the floor, you start bouncing around. Have good timing for this guy. Three. He's gone. Collect the crystal. Now you should go to... Elect Man stage, because you can use uh, Cut Man's Scissor Boomerangs. And also, you can use Gut, Gut Man's Rock Throwing ability to collect a secret item which you must have to beat the game. Which I will show you when we get there. Don't worry about those crowns that go back and forth. Now this, you have to be careful and time your walks carefully because they will go in a pattern of four. And you got to get to that other ladder. Here's that secret weapon. Put your guy on Gutsman, or G. Pick up the rock and throw it. You must get that elevation platform. Now once you go through the first gate, try to dodge these electric barriers. The end boss is fairly easy. Now you go to the leader of this stage, Elect Man. Use Cut Man's scissor boomerangs to defeat him and only take three hits. And he's gone. The next stage you should go to is Ice Man, because you can use um Elect Man's electric weapon. Now we start off for these guys, hit them in the head. If you hit them anywhere else, they will split into two and they become trouble. So hit them in the head immediately as they appear and you won't have any trouble with them. Now remember, the ground is slippery, so be careful when you walk. Here, if you want to collect this extra guy, try not to get hit like I just did, and you will get a lot of energy back. Now fall down the hole. and the, Now this is... What this mostly level's about is jumping on the bricks. Now you gotta time your jumps carefully. Find the pattern of the bricks and how they appear. Especially on the longer jumps, which there are a couple of long jumps in this one. Also, here again, there's a lot of tricky jumps. You have to time your jumps carefully and find out which brick appears when it does. It might take you a few times, but that's the way it is. <laughs> It's a little tricky one first, but you'll get used to it. These platforms are rocking. They look pretty easy, but they dodge away a lot, and they shoot out of the sides, which is another thing you got to be careful of. Now, when you get to this next section of guys, the shark missiles will start attacking you. What you want to do is stand in one place, wherever you are, just keep shooting and shooting and shooting, and you'll get them every time. 
as you can see. Now this guy, of course, guards the entrance to the next section, but who cares? Forget him. And go in. And what you want to do is just walk and keep shooting, just like you did with the top man a little while ago. And you'll get them all. And now we go to the leader of this stage. Iceman. Use Elect Man's weapon against him, and it'll only take three hits. They're not that deadly. And he's gone. That's about how easy it is. Collect the crystal. And now we go to the last stage we need to defeat. The fireman stage. And it's good because we can use Iceman's weapon against him. We start off here with some familiar enemies, if you remember. Just walk right into them when they come up and attack them. They're not hard. Now, these flaming torches and the fireballs coming down can be hard, but they're really fairly easy once you get used to it. You can also attack the fire, uh, the flames coming down, and you might get some valuable prizes. Now, this section might get a little tricky once you climb the ladder here. Careful here, this needs good timing. Now, I'm gonna miss it here. I missed it here, but I did get it up there. The flames are the guards to this gate and go on in. Turrets up there before they can come down and try to shoot you. And voila. No. And now we go to the leader of this stage, Fireman. Switch to Iceman and use his icicles. Don't even, wor don't even worry about dodging his planes because it's totally, oh, not totally, but you can do it. But it's hard to do because he shoots like almost three or four at a time. So use Iceman's icicles and just keep shooting in one spot and you'll get him. And collect the crystal. And now you can go to Dr. Wily's castle. Now, you can return to any stage you have previously gone to if you need to. Uh, the reason is because if you don't have that secret weapon, which is the elevation platform that we just got a little while ago, you'll not be able to make it to the end. And now there's Dr. Wily. We go to Dr. Wily stage, the final stages. They're not, actually, there are parts of stages, but that's how we'll go. And now we got the little boingers, the, um, the pogo dudes. There's one here. One here. And one here. Pretty annoying, but you get used to it after a while. Here you need you need to use Guts Man weapon again to throw these rocks out of the way. Now, this uh, energy pod was hard to get, but if you get it, it's worth it. And now, you must get onto these levitation platforms, but remember, one hit of those spikes and you're gone. So try to time your jumps carefully, especially since they shoot out the sides. And sometimes they make you wait there for an hour. Now this is where the extra weapon I told you that you need, and do need, right now, is what you'll need. Because there's, that's the only way you'll be able to get up onto the top platform, is with that secret weapon. If not, you'll have to go back to the Elect Man stage and get it. And now we go to the leader of this stage, the Rock Man. Turn to Elect Man's weapon, and time your jump carefully against this guy, because all of his parts turn into little rocks, and float into place. What you need to do is, well, they always come in the exact same time, so you have to jump exactly at that time and exactly at the right point. And then right when he's all together, shoot his eye. You can only shoot him once, though, which is a pain in the butt. But if you use Elect Man's weapon, it knocks the most out of him than any other weapon that you could have right now. Dodge him all and shoot him in the eye. That's basically, now let's watch it. That's the end of him. 
Now they're uh, like I said, this but uh, Dr. Wiley's is actually made up of uh, four separate stages, uh, of which you have to defeat. And now we go to the second section of Dr. Wiley's castle. We start off with the cheap little helicopters, of course, and cheap things, and you destroy them, get some energy pods, and keep on moving. And this stage, you, Dr. Wiley has made copies of two of his robots that you've already defeated. We start with Cutman. Just use the original weapon, reg original uh, Mega Man weapon against him, and do the same exact thing as before. Hit him once, hit him again, jump over the scissors, and then let him jump over you. Uh, as I was saying, Dr. Wily has made duplicates of his, all of his robots in this stage, though there are two, only two of them. And then in the uh, fourth stage, which is two stages from now, the other four duplicates of the other robots you defeated will appear. You do a duplicate of a luck man. What you want to do is, of course, you use uh, cut man's weapons and only take three hits. Simple enough. And continue on down. Timer jumps carefully here, just watch this pattern. Now this part is tricky. Actually, this part is easy. Still not the one. What you want to do is use the elevation platforms, or the M, to get the extra guy. When these parts get tricky, you have to figure them out for yourself. And now we go to the leader of this stage, which is a duplicate copy of you. What will happen is, as you can see, two head things are coming down and the computer will make an exact, or Dr. Wiley, matter of fact, will make an exact duplicate copy of you. If you change guys, they will change guys. What I do is just use your regular Mega Man weapon against him. Try to shoot him. What you do, if you shoot him, he usually shoots in the air. But <laughs> out of there and now we go since you have defeated him we go to the third stage of Mega Man 1 there are four stages actually four sections in this by Dr. Wily stage now, in this one, there are no duplicates of robots. They're in the, the fourth section, the other four. As I was saying, they're in the fourth section. Now here, the floor will move. As you can see, you can't walk backwards and you can't jump. So what you want to do here is just let the floor move you yourself. Just don't even move. Just let the floor move you and just keep shooting and you'll get them every time. And now we go to the leader of this stage. Then go back to your original guy, because he works the best. Every time you kill one, his energy meter, well, the energy meter for the enemy will go down, and then the color in the middle will get, uh, will change, and the guy will go a little faster every time. And the last guy is the fastest. And then once you've killed him, that's the end. Let's take a look. energy change to a luck man's weapon because he can shoot up and over and it's very effective especially against this last enemy which is the fastest and that's it 
And now you go to the final stage of Mega Man 1. Now here, what you want to do is just shoot the three on the top and forget the ones that are coming up. They don't do any harm. Now, of course, here you have to change the Guts Man to get rid of the uh, bricks. Shoot it at this guy and it'll destroy him, get one out of the way. The rest here, you have to dodge the weapons as they shoot. It's pretty fairly easy. Now, this section is one of the toughest in this section, uh, this part here. What you want to do is you have to jump on the red platform, jump onto the brick, and use perfect timing to get back on it before it comes out. And now you must defeat the other four duplicate copies of the robots. First, you start off with Bomb Man. Use the fire, fireman's weapon against him, and as you can see, it's very effective. Takes around seven shots. And he's out of there. Go up one flight, and you meet Fireman. Use Iceman's weapon once again, and just keep hitting and hitting and hitting. Problem is when... Oh, I'll tell you in a minute. And he's out of there. Up one more flight, you get to Iceman. Use Elect, elect Man's weapon against him, and three hits will do it. And one, and up one more flight, this last you pick a copy of Guts Man. Use, um, if you want to, you can start off with Elect Man's weapon, but then go to the uh, bomb, bomb Man's weapon, and it'll take three hits. Remember, just to dodge his bricks. They're a little easier to dodge here than the other time. And once you've defeated those four duplicate copies, you will go to the end boss of the game, which is Dr. Wily in his super mobile. Uh, actually, what you want to do is really use the original Mega Man weapon for him because he's the easiest. And now we go into the gate and we meet up with Dr. Wily himself. And his, now as you can see here, the gate will close, the UFO comes, and the rest appears. It's actually pretty simple. You go to Mega Man's original weapon and shoot the red compartment. And just follow the steps. Kind of stand under because the bombs will follow you wherever you go. So kind of stand in one place, and when they go after you, move out of the way. It's pretty simple enough. See, as you can see, they just kind of move. And attack him in the red spot. Once you've defeated him, he will come out of the section. Now, the big uh, bomb in the middle will shoot uh, balls of fire around, rings of fire. And what you want to do is stand kind of like in the middle between the ring and the, the gun turret. And it'll miss you, as you can see I'm doing right now. And the... The ring shouldn't miss you all together. And you have defeated Dr. Wily in the first Mega Man. Now, of course, he escapes. That's why they need Mega Man 2. But we'll talk about that in a little while. But like I said, when you defeat the four duplicates, like I was going to say, you don't get your energy back for Dr. Wily. So it's a chance you have to take. Plus, if you lose a guy, you can start Dr. Wiley. And you get your clear points. And that's the end of Mega Man. Let's watch the ending.